Hey fam, welcome in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. My name is Tam. I'm also known as the Enlightened Auntie. You can find me all over social media, particularly Twitter and Instagram under that girl Tam. All of my information is below in the description box. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, my books are always open. Uh, you can catch me on my website at www.enlightenedauntie.com. Uh, this is a general reading today for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general reading, love reading. Won't resonate for everyone. Please take what you need and throw the rest out. I'm going to start trying to do the videos a little bit more often, like say maybe once a week. Um, maybe six, to six, at, four to six at a time, depending on my schedule and how it's looking. I've got a bunch of other things that are going on, so I'm trying to like mash it all in my day at once. <laughs> it's really hard. Um, I'm figuring it out though. Anywho. Let's jump into it. Um, I've already pulled the Oracle cards, so let's take a look at what's going on in your recent past, Virgos. Um, I do see where maybe you're looking at a situation. Um, I don't know if there's been a change of heart, maybe. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, you're kind of going back and forth. So I see a situation where you are you may be looking at how much time and energy you've invested in a situation. Um, this potentially can be talking about even something, you know, having a change of heart or, or finding forgiveness in a situation over, you know, overcoming uh, your own ego issues, your pride, overcoming your pride, seeing things from a different point of view. Um, looking at how much time and energy you've invested in the situation to determine, to determine whether or not to continue giving to it. Um, may even be like kind of in a wait and see, waiting to see if something is changing. Judgment also can potentially talk about a situation from your past resurfacing something that you may have thought of as dead at one point, coming back and having to, you know, overcome certain issues in order to engage with it and really sitting back and determining whether or not you even want to bother. Um, I feel as though you may have taken some initiative or take, made a decision to take some initiative to close a cycle out with the world here. Um, or you're debating about it. There's a or there's a desire to take to end it, but you may be going back and forth in your mind about it, like seeing two very clear truths about the situation and maybe unable to decide what you want to do. But understanding that the, the world is literally the culmination of all the lessons that you've learned in the previous cycle. So it's really about you know, when one door closes, another door opens, allowing the door to close, you know, making the decision to allow the door to close in order for you to move forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, decisions, decisions. So, okay. So the lovers, the moon, the higher fence. So definitely could be some things going on behind the scenes within a situation within a committed relationship. The you know higher fence is the card of marriage. Um, but this also, I'm looking at this much differently too. I also see this. You could have had an awakening. This also talks about an awakening, overcoming your pride, really looking at what you've invested in um, and putting a, a close. You know, actively deciding to put a close to certain chapters in your life. Um, the lovers, yes, it's a choice between two things or two people that you're emotionally invested in, but it's also really a choice between, you know, your ego, what your ego is, is calling you towards telling you that you have to have or versus, you know, that versus what your soul is calling you towards. Um, the moon kind of indicates that you make this decision. Um, I feel like you still move forward making the decision despite the fact that there are moving parts in the background that you may be unaware of. Um, you may also be really taking this time to re-examine um, the way you go about doing relationships, how you view them, um, how you view them, how you show up for them, how um, what commitment looks like to you. Your, what your level of commitment is to a situation, potentially. All right, let's see what's going on right now. Okay, so you're definitely making some hard-pressed judgments, final judgment about this situation. Um, so it's not the healthiest relationship. And 
I believe that there is an awareness. Definitely, you have an awareness of, of, you know, it's kind of like seeing it for what it is, um, understanding what the connection is. So you may be waiting for some communication. This is fast incoming communication from a distance. Potentially, this is. Uh, this also could talk about travel. Somebody may be wanting to travel towards you. Definitely get some, in, some um, energy of travel, distance travel. Um, I feel like you still have, even though you want to like close out certain chapters, I still feel like you have energy to give to the situation, provided that it was you know coming to you under the right conditions, under the right terms. Um, but I feel like you're you're definitely. It's funny because this three of wands is not, a, I literally was looking at this three of wands and I was thinking about the star card because there's like a shooting star and I'm thinking, you know, gosh, she looks like she's, she's staring off at the moon. She's looking at the shooting star. She's wishing for this future. She's wishing for the future, wishing for this. If you're waiting for communication, you're just wishing for it to hurry up and come. Mm-hmm. Yep. King of Wands, you definitely could be dealing with an Aries. So I just realized I haven't called out Zodiacs at all for any of the other readings. <laughs> um, I've got Leo, who we were doing Virgo. I've got Leo here. I've got Scorpio. I've got all the fixed signs. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Gemini, Cancer, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I mean, Taurus, Libra. So, I feel like this is energy of somebody wanting to take action or take responsibility to move something forward. Um, maybe there is a, a level of emotional withdrawal. Not even a proper phrase. Like there's been some level of emotional withdrawal or not even emotional withdrawal, just like with what's well, literally withholding. Um, kind of like, I wanna take action. I'm not gonna really show you how, you how I feel, but I'm going to, and I'm taking my time because it's coming in with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, this also can talk about taking action towards maybe a new, um, you may have new creative projects that um, are really exciting for you and that you're working very, like in a very dedicated kind of manner towards manifesting a really, you know, abundant opportunity. Um, there may have been some disappointments from the past or, or maybe the way you went about things in the past didn't quite work the way that you anticipated them to. So you're finally starting to um, recover or recoup any type of loss that you may have experienced in the past, which does bring in happiness. I love it. I love it. Yeah, despite the fact that you may not understand fully where you're going again with the moon in the world, it's like even though you may not fully understand the trajectory of where you're going, you're still moving in the right direction. We love to see it. All right, so let's look at the future. What's coming up in the near future for my Virgos? finally make a decision to take a leap of faith cutting out the shit cutting out the bullshit cutting out the things that you know lo no longer serve you like really taking stock um and making your decisions using your discernment i love it mm -hmm. all right so so there's potential for movement for towards a new opportunity, right? But there's still there's still something in you that makes you feel as though you are restricted. Yeah, it's mostly fear, okay? I keep seeing that this is you. It's fear. It's fear. It could be, and you're just, happiness is literally on the other side of your fear. What are you doing? Just go. Literally, just go. <laughs> The thing is that you have all these you have this opportunity in front of you and you're there's like you feel this restriction and the restriction I really feel like it's fear it's either now this could be fear just within yourself but this definitely can talk about you know having conflict or being in conflict with other people um 
I really feel like you're just going to move towards your happiness and stop whatever, like you've, re you've already retreated your energy from a situation. Four of swords, six of swords, ten of swords, right? You've already, you're, you've already checked out. You're juggling your responsibilities or balancing your life, trying to get your, you know, trying to find your equilibrium. Again, you're keeping, you're keeping how you feel very much to yourself, very much to yourself, keeping yeah, almost to the point of keeping secrets, taking, yeah, these are just repeating cards at this point. Um, just go, just go. All right. So let's look at your oracles. A child's love, the love between a parent and a child is one of the most precious and deep connections we make during our time on earth. Children start out as part of us and from their first cries, they establish themselves as the biggest part of our hearts. Hope, your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. You are not alone. We are here for you. We never left. Through all the sadness and loneliness, however, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much we love you. Oh, how much love we are sending you. We are your family, friends, and guides. You never walk alone. We walk right beside you let go once you let go of the outcome you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit as we have only your best intentions at heart and we'll do everything in our power to protect you forgiveness holding on to resentment and anger is preventing you or is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and has the capacity to heal and transform. Absolutely. Then we have mirror, mirroring each other, self-image. Relationships reflect our wounds. Introspection. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, want to date. Healing heart. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationship. Re um, healing from toxic, really. Oh, freedom from toxic relationship and or addiction. All right. And then I've got seven of my own cards. First card is wait. Second card is maybe. You may be seeing synchronicities of 888, which talks about abundance coming in, benefits and rewards, wealth. You may also be seeing the synchronicities of 555, which talks about imminent changes ahead. Be open and be open and ready to make decisions. Mother healing. Change directions. This one isn't it. And stagnant energy is preventing movement forward. All right, that concludes your reading, my dears. This was for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Again, this is a general reading, so, you know, I don't feel bad if it doesn't resonate. But if it did, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to get my numbers up and circulate. Um, I just hit the point of monetization for my channel. So, yay, shout out to y'all for doing it for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, Again, I'm going to start doing these a little bit more frequently so I can spend more time with you, you guys getting to know me and me getting to know you and your stories and helping you along with your journey. I thank you so much for your energy. I appreciate you all. I love you. I'll see you next time.